We have to rescue America from the wreckage of the Biden economy. Under my leadership, we built the greatest economy in the history of the world. In fact, we actually did it twice because that horrible gift from China came over. COVID or the China virus, as many people say. But now we will do it again. We will do it again. We passed the largest tax cuts and reforms in American history. We cut more job-killing regulations than any administration ever also in history. We achieved American energy independence, and we were about set to do American energy dominance, bigger than Saudi Arabia, bigger than Russia combined, times two. And we slashed the price of gasoline down all the way down to $1.87 a gallon. Doesn't that sound good? That's why you have this horrible inflation, because of what happened to your energy. Now everything's up. Now it's happening to everything. Thank you. Thanks to our policies, the typical New Hampshire family saw their annual income rise by $6,000, the largest increase in recorded history, the largest. Nobody's ever seen that by $6,000. Everybody was happy. For decades, the corrupt globalist establishment savagely betrayed New Hampshire workers. You know that better than most. I see those, I see those beautiful factory buildings. Some are now apartment houses and some are now senior citizens, but uh, the factories, that's what you had to do. The factories, there's so many gone. Your state lost one in four manufacturing jobs after the NAFTA disaster and China's entrance into the World Trade Organization. But after years of cruel sellouts by past leaders, I ended NAFTA, the worst trade deal ever, ever made. That was the worst trade deal ever made, what they did to us for so many decades, and replaced it with the incredible USMCA, Mexico, Canada, that's considered now the best trade deal ever made. So good, in fact, that Mexico and Canada are now trying to renegotiate the deal with the Biden administration. I say, don't do it. Don't talk about it. Don't do it. Somebody over there told me it's unfair. I said, you know what? We lived with unfair for decades. Now they say it's unfair. No, we made a great deal. And you're all manufacturers, farmers, everybody is benefiting. USMCA, we're very proud of that. And I stood up to China like no administration has ever done before. <laughs> Bringing in hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars, pouring into our treasury from China when no other president had gotten even 10 cents. Not one president got, and I literally mean not 10 cents. We got hundreds of billions of dollars. I don't think they liked me too much, but that's okay. <laughs> 